Good morning and welcome to Junior and Senior High Devotions. Thanks so much for tuning in this morning. Throughout the Advent season, the next four weeks, this week and the next three, we're going to be looking at the story of the birth of Jesus in the Gospel of Luke. Some of these stories might be familiar, some of them might be new, but we're going to go through some of the beginning uh, chapters of Luke to have the narrative of the birth of Jesus. Some of them are before Jesus has been born and then we'll end with our stories of the birth narrative of Christ. So we're going to read today a story about the announcement of Jesus' birth to Mary. So let's head right into that. It's in Luke chapter 1 verses 26 to 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor, David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her, who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am. The servant of the Lord, let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. So we get the birth of Jesus foretold by the angel Gabriel to Mary, Jesus' mother. Now this story is about the miracle of Jesus' birth. Jesus is conceived by the Holy Spirit. Now the word miracle, we hear a lot of it uh, in the Christmas and Advent season. That word miracle means a wonderful thing that happens that you can hardly believe. And the birth of Jesus is one of those things. Not only is this baby coming, which is a wonderful gift in itself, but God is the parent of Jesus. And so that's a miraculous thing. And then Jesus is set in the line of David and will be called king. That is a miraculous thing. And as we see with the miracles of Jesus, though, they are much different than we could have ever expected. Jesus is born a baby and sent by God. Jesus lives a human life. And sometimes we can think as a human, it might be every day, but that is a miraculous thing, that God is willing to live both human and a divine life. And then as Jesus continues to minister, as he does even more miraculous things, we find out that these are for us to see the power of God, another miraculous thing. And Jesus' ministry leads him to the cross, where Jesus does die, and we know in that act, our sins are forgiven, and that's miraculous. And then Jesus rises again on Easter, and isn't that the most miraculous thing? And it gives us the promise of everlasting life. And so right from the start, Jesus' birth foretold, we get this sense of miracles. And also miraculous is that Mary didn't think it could be her to be first visited, visited by an angel, miraculous. And then for her to be called favored. And then she says, I am a servant of the Lord. And so miracles might seem like things that just can't be true, yet here they are being true and going out into the world. Mary says, I am a servant. And so perhaps for us, even being a servant can be miraculous for the people we serve. 
Now last week, I introduced a question and a challenge for you, and that was, could you make some Christmas cards? You can either make them yourself or get some Christmas cards and write a message. You might even include some of the scripture that we've read today. Again, it's from the first chapter of Luke. You can take a look in your Bible and write down some quotes from it if you'd want. And so this Advent season is one of miracles, of wonderful things happening for us. And so I do ask that you could take some time this week and write a few Christmas cards for our members at home. And then again, either bundle them up and drop them off at church or mail them into the church office and we'll send them out to those folks. I really appreciate you taking on that task so that we can spread the miraculous, almost too hard to believe news that Jesus is being born and that Jesus comes to save us. Thanks again for your attention today. Thanks for putting on the video. I hope you have a great week and we'll see you again for more of the story, the story of Jesus' birth. We'll continue in the Gospel of Luke next week to find out more about the birth of Jesus. See you then.